Hey everyone, thank you for joining me in reading God's Word today. You know, we've been in a study on the book of Luke and it's been so awesome just to dive into this gospel. In fact, I'm so excited about today's passages. It's one of my favorite lines that Jesus has to say. And so, before we dive into that, I just want to give you a little bit of context. We're going to be talking about a guy named Levi, better known as Matthew, who you would recognize him by. And Jesus has recently called Levi to be a disciple. Now, he's a tax collector, so he has recently left tax collecting behind and made a decision to follow Jesus. And the story picks up after this, as Levi is throwing a party, a banquet, and at this party, he has other tax collector friends and guests, and, and Jesus is the guest of honor at this party. And so what you need to know is that tax collectors were considered evil. They were considered sinners by the religious community back in this day because they were seen as traitors to their own people, and they were not welcome in local synagogues or even in Jewish society. So. Let's dive in to Luke chapter 5, verses 29 through 32. It says, Later, Levi held a banquet in his home with Jesus as the guest of honor. Many of Levi's fellow tax collectors and other guests also ate with them. But the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly to Jesus' disciples, Why do you eat and drink with such scum? And Jesus answered them, Healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know that they are sinners and need to repent. Man, Jesus was always putting the religious people, the Pharisees, in their place. And this is one of my favorite lines from Jesus in all of Scripture. You see, you have the Pharisees, the religious people. They were not even invited to this party, okay? So they are having an opinion about this party and what Jesus is doing, and they're probably looking in through a window. They are not inside of the party. They're looking in, and they're totally judging Jesus for this situation, for him hanging out with sinners, for tax, him hanging out with tax collectors. And they decided to confront the disciples. Like, you can hear them now. Why would Jesus hang out and eat with such evil people, with those sinners, you know, with those religious rejects. I mean, how how would he how could he do this? I can't believe he would do this. Do you know anybody like that where they are just so spiritual? Like they're just in another planet. Like they're just too good for everybody else. They're too spiritual for everybody else. They're better than everyone. You know, maybe they post that way on social media or maybe you've seen them judge other people. So here they are. The Pharisees, they see themselves as righteous through their works, okay? They don't believe that they need forgiveness. They don't believe that they are sinners. And so you can imagine why they are so confused that Jesus, like an elite religious person of all people, would be sitting at a table with sinners. But Jesus' response is amazing. He says, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know that they are sinners and need to repent. And in our world in 2022, where everyone is wearing a facade and everyone is trying to be perfect and nobody wants to show their weaknesses, I think our Jesus has the same thing to say to us. You know, he is not here for those who don't need him. He came to call those who know that they are nothing without him. If you say that you are a follower of Jesus, it is imperative that we recognize how sinful we really are. Not so that you can walk around and be negative and a Debbie Downer and hang your head low. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when you recognize that you were once a sinner in need of forgiveness and that you need Jesus daily, it allows you to operate in a posture of humility and in a posture of just total dependence on Jesus. I mean, aren't you thankful that when you were desperate, when you were lost, when you were totally in need of him, that he came and rescued you and healed you? I mean, it's hard to judge other people when you are constantly remembering that you were in their shoes, that you were once just as guilty, and that every day you're just as guilty too. You know, as we leave this moment today, let's ask God these two questions, okay? Number one, help me to be fully dependent on you, Jesus, because without you, I'm nothing. And number two, help me to see other people the way that you that you see them 
You know, this story is just so challenging to me. It's challenged me just reading it. And I've loved diving into God's Word with you today. If this devotional encouraged you, I would encourage you to share it with somebody. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.